Welcome back, Rockstars, to more Complex Pixelmon. Today, we're going to take on another world boss battle. We're going to challenge the Pokemon Battle Tower as well and finish off by adding another shiny Pokemon to the squad. Let's get to it. The Battle Tower, Rockstar, is one of the most difficult battle towers I've ever tried to take on. So let's see what we can do today. So we're leading with our boy Medichan, and we're going to have Titar and Skeletor. I think this is a decent combo. Hopefully, it works out for us. So let's see. Okay, so we start off with Jirachi. We can deal with this. We're going to go into a Fire Punch for Fire versus Steel. And, ooh, we need nearly got one shot and we didn't land a single hit are you kidding me and we're gonna get out sped yeah all right we're going to t-tar and we're gonna go for a mega crutch on the jirachi oh they switched out to extra drill which i mean we get a free hit in i'll take that but that's still a bit dangerous for us we have who's our last pokemon again i don't even remember oh yeah skeletron so not good to switch out to either oh we did quite a lot of damage so i don't know if they could one shot us so we're just gonna go crunch again and they couldn't so this should finish him off easy okay what's your last pokemon jirachi and we still I'm not the last Pokemon. We have Jirachi, this, and something else. Okay. And they switched out. Nope. They finished us off. Okay. Skeledridge. I don't like. Okay. Now we're no longer stuck in the ground. Let's go ahead and let's hit a Torch Song. See if we can get a special attack boost. Okay. That's a little bit of damage on there. I will take that. And let's go for Shadow Ball. See if we can get anything on this guy. Nice damage. Okay. Go for another Shadow Ball. And no. They, ooh. There we go. That's some good damage. We're going for Torch Song for another special attack boost. Solid on our side. Finishing off the Altaria. Next up is Jirachi. We go all in with Overheat because we need to finish it off in a single shot yes beating it on to round two next up is zora aura i don't like this he's electric right let's just go all in with high jump kick and hope that we can land it and we got one shot i don't know if he has fighting type moves i really hope not we're gonna go mega titar and hit eq and if we can oh they switched out the bisharp okay that's a free mega eq can you stop putting us in the ground against the bisharp which is really nice but i don't know what we're gonna do against that guy let's see what we can do here and ouch okay this is going to be interesting oh okay there we go we one shot him perfect okay so that brings out the zora aura back let's hit earthquake again there's no way he oh he one shots us he had close combat i wasn't expecting that okay boom let's hit Ooh, shadow ball yeah let's go shadow ball on this guy and they switched out to altaria okay i'm okay with that because we did good damage we're gonna hit a torch song get our special attack up a little bit more which is super nice for us and we're gonna go hit shadow ball this time that should do quite a lot of damage yes but not enough so we're gonna go for another special attack buff because they just keep healing which is fine by us let's go shadow ball and that should finish off the artaria oh super close we're gonna go Torch Chong again. If they're gonna keep healing, I might as well keep boosting my special attack so we can make sure we one shot that last Pokemon as long as we're able to live a hit. And go ahead, keep roosting. We're gonna keep Torch Song as much as I can. And that should be enough to finish off Altaria. Let's go Shadow Ball. Live. Yes, we lived, and that was enough to finish him off. Okay, this is the first time we've made it to a floor three, and I don't like Togekiss. Togekiss is very flying, right? Let's switch out the T Tar here. This is gonna be dangerous, but I need to do it. Okay, Air Slash, we avoided it. Perfect. So let's go Mega Evolve, and we're gonna hit a rock slide on this and they switch out to medichan okay we want to switch out as well and we probably want to go out to they're probably going to use a fighting type move so we got the skeletridge mega if you could just mega teacher if you could just finish him off that'd be really nice nope that's okay he's gonna outspeed us but we got a mega off so we're good let's go out the skeletridge hopefully we can get not hit by the, the attack yes perfect they sent out Ooh, and they used high jump kick so they damaged themselves beautiful okay now we have gengar which is perfectly fine we go shadow ball on this guy but he's faster which makes sense and i don't like this this situation okay medichan i'm hoping you for speed zen headbutt and nope that wasn't enough okay t-tar i need you to get this crunch off and he finished off t-tar but we got a lot closer in the battle tower which really sucks and we don't really have any battle points but hey getting around three or four which is i think where we got to is a lot of improvement i think we do need to eventually just get some really strong legendaries to be able to go into this though i've always found battling with three pokemon way more difficult than battling with a group of six pokemon since we got a world boss con Kelder. okay so let's get prepared for this guy let's Let's see if we can get into Bacon Kelder. Okay, let's go ahead and Dragon Claw this guy. Ooh, we're doing some decent damage. And he one shot us. Not a big deal. Let's send in Gastrodon. Hit a Muddy Water on him. Did he heal up? What? What the? We, we don't do that here. We don't do that here. We don't do healing up. Hi, right, Medichan. Come in here. High Jump Kick. Land it, please. And you did not land it. Can you land this one, please? There we go. Some good damage on this guy. Let's land another High Jump Kick. Come on. Finish him off. Not quite. Bioplume, get in here. Pedal Dance, be enough? No. Okay, Hair to Cross. What about a Brick Break from you, buddy? There we go. Pretty solid. We have to go back every single time don't we all right there we go okay and let's go close combat on him we probably should have mega evolved our hair to cross that's okay better chain get in there with high jump kick keep doing some damage on him gotta do as much damage as possible shadow ball on this guy there we go solid and one more should finish him off please land the hit and there we go bye bye con kelder mega close combat hopefully this is enough okay so yeah we're just here in this this is so weird that there's not an actual like area you just have to literally do this every single time just press slash boss and get in 
into the battle. It's so weird. Okay, well, he one shot us, but that's okay. We did more damage than last time, and boom, we nearly finished him off. There we go. Easy peasy. Back to the battle. I'm gonna keep this up. Okay, close combat. Let's go. Easy peasy. And he one shots us. Like, we gotta just keep this up. There we go. High jump kick doing us really good here and actually finishing him off. Perfect. There we go. All right, let's go Mega Evolve. Close combat. There we go. Get out of the floor there, even though we don't really see a Pokemon to actually battle, but for whatever reason. But I'm, I'm not gonna complain. I just need to make sure we win and try to get some good damage in there. There we go. Look at that. And we switch into Medichain. Get a high jump kick in there. Finish him off pretty easily. There we go. And we just gotta literally repeat this on end. Okay, the boss is defeated. We officially got 11 plays, a total of just under 6,000 damage. Pretty cool. With 25k coins received, two shiny spins, and 30 tokens. Let's open the shiny spin up and let's see what Pokemon we're gonna get. Come on, give us something for the decks or something that we don't have. I could use a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle for shinies. Oh, Chin Chow. No, Grookey. A shiny Grookey. Something I don't have yet. Let's look at this shiny Grookey. Ooh, I really like the shiny Grookey. That's super nice. Okay, let's go ahead and open up this shiny spin. Let's see what we get for this bad boy. Come on, give us some. I would love a shiny Greninja in reality. And we are not gonna get that though. What are we gonna get? Rock and Roll? That's not bad. Okay, Rock and Roll is purple, isn't it? And it's purple and orange. I like it. I like it. That's pretty decent overall, but I don't think it keeps it purple as it evolves though. This Grookey's actually got pretty good IVs at 18 HP, 22 attack, 28 special attack, and 30 speed, which I think are, would be his main ones. I think he's a physical attacker as well. So honestly, I think we're going to train this guy up. We can do a little research later on to see what we should actually train him in. But for now, I kind of want to see his future shiny evolution. So let's see what shiny Grookey looks like once he evolves. P luckily, we've got plenty of their candies, so we can just bombard him with their candies and hopefully we can get some nice shinies. And luckily, we don't have to teaching him it moves. We don't have to worry about that because there is a move relearner, so we can just spam through him if it comes down to it if we don't know what's best for him, which we don't because I don't know if he's... I think he's a physical attacker, but I'm not sure about that. And what are you gonna... I forget what's your name again? Thwaddle? Thwacky, that's what it is. Okay, double hit over scratch. Absolutely. Ooh, Thwacky is like a kind of like golden. Interesting. Grookey was more like of a yellow, almost gold, but this was like pure gold. Okay, let's see what he like when he evolved fully. Knock off over taunt. Absolutely. It's definitely a better move. Let's see. Thwacky, come on, evolve. Just a couple more levels, and there we go. Thwacky is evolving into Rillaboom. This is gonna be nice. Get a nice shiny Rillaboom. And it's gonna be a solid grass type physical attacker as well to add to the a possible squad as well if we really want to. Not many of the shinies, if really any of them, have any good IV stats. Drum beating. User plays its drum, controlling the drum's roots to attack the target. Also lowers the target's speed stat. Physical. Absolutely want that. Over branch poke for sure. And ooh, I like this. Okay, I wish the, the leaves give me a bit more of like a shiny green. I wish they were a bit more gold like Thwacky's body was. Otherwise, I think it's a pretty cool shiny overall. Thwacky could be really good and help us out just because he's so fast and powerful, I think, to really help us out with the psychic type gem hopefully which would be really nice well rock says i think rillaboom is going to be the first addition to probably our building of a shiny pokemon team because he's the first real shiny out of some that actually has some stats that we can use so make sure you guys leave a like comment and subscribe if you guys did enjoy let me know what other shinies we should be adding to our squad i hope you guys all enjoyed i'll see you all next time rock stars peace peace